Hi there, it's Daily Bible Time on a Wednesday morning, although it only feels like Tuesday morning. Dominic Steele here. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. And we finished Daily Bible Time yesterday with the Apostle Paul's question in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves to see whether you're in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. Paul is saying to the Corinthians, who he's writing to, are you really a Christian? After two letters, two pastoral verses, he say, examine yourself. Think hard, reflect. Is Christ Jesus really in you or have you failed the test? And I mean, that is a serious question. I mean, on what ground would one question whether one was really in Jesus, whether one was really Christian? And you might doubt the sufficiency of Christ's work on the cross. You, you might have undealt sin in your own life. Um, you might be so puffed up with your own self-importance um, that you're not relying on Jesus. Unqualified self-love, moral laxness, major doctrinal error. Um, do you doubt your relationship with Jesus? Well, to break it down and approach those sub-questions, I and mean, if you don't understand the cross enough, then we need to work at understanding it better. We don't need to go deeper into the love of God that's in Christ Jesus our Lord. Um, if there is undealt sin in your life, suppressed sin in your life, then deal with that. We need to talk to somebody about that and deal with it and, and not waste time on that. But if you're so puffed up in your own self-importance like the Corinthians were, well, really, we need to feel the apostolic kick in the head. Um, the rebuke that I'm a proud, arrogant twerp. He's the God of the universe and I'm a fly. We need to get a better perspective there. Um, second question that is raised, and this is verse 6, is what is Paul? What's your relationship with Paul? How do you regard the Apostle Paul? And Paul writes 2 Corinthians 13, verse 6, I trust that you will discover that we too, or I too, have not failed the test. I trust that once you recognise that you are a Christian, you will accept that I, Paul, am of Jesus for it was me who brought the gospel of Jesus to you I think for the Corinthian Christian to turn around and reject the Apostle Paul now would be tantamount to rejecting Jesus for Paul has indicated he is so bound up with Jesus that re to reject him is to reject Jesus and so the Apostle makes a final appeal verse 10 of 2 Corinthians 13 that is why I write things when I'm absent so that when I come, I may not have to be harsh in my use of authority, the authority the Lord gave me for building you up, not for tearing you down. Paul does not want to be harsh with them. He does not want a harsh exchange. That's not what he's about. Everything that he's been writing has been for their strengthening. Um, now, people do get this wrong. Where he says building up and strengthening, it doesn't mean I've been writing all this so that you would feel good. Sometimes I'd need a bit of knocking down in order to rebuild something better. Sometimes I need to be rebuked. Sometimes I need to be confronted. Sometimes I need to be... Um, all right. Think clearly, Dominic. But the primary purpose of Paul writing is not tearing down. It's building them up and building us up. Finally, brothers, goodbye. Verse 11. Aim for perfection. Listen to my appeal. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. So... We finish this little series, this study here today. Test yourselves. Are you really in Jesus? Yeah, 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 Dominic, of course I am. No, no, are you? Reflect hard. Have you, have, have you really reflected that it's all done by Jesus in the cross of Christ, the sufficiency of his cross work? Or have you got undealt with sin in your life? I mean, are the cupboards in your life that no one knows about? A secret sin that's ongoing secret sin. Um, where there's apologies that should have been made that haven't been made. Where there's wrong that's been done that hasn't been righted. Or are you puffed up arrogant? Really, it's test yourself read Jesus and test yourself, read Paul. I should not have an attitude 
it's the writings of Paul, the words of Paul, that is despising, that is looked down, because the Apostle Paul is so linked to Jesus that to despise Paul is to despise Jesus. Father God, pray for myself and pray for my friends engaged this morning that all of us would look deeply to the cross, that all of us would look to Jesus, the one who pays that we who are unrighteous may be seen by you as righteous. And thank you so much for that standing you give us. Father, um, where the sin in our life, help us to look hard, help us to deal with it, help us to repent, help us to fix it. Um, and Father, we pray that we would have an, an attitude of honouring those over us, honouring those over us genuinely in the Lord. We see the um, this story of Paul and the Corinthians where they despised the man who brought them Jesus as a salutary tale and please keep us from not going that way and please help, help us to have a right attitude not only to the Lord Jesus but a right attitude to the writings of his apostle to trust and honour and um, listen to your word through, through Christ and through his apostle and we pray these things in Jesus name Amen Thanks for joining us on Daily Bible Time today. See you tomorrow morning. God bless.